here in Washington, former President Donald Trump appeared before a federal appeals court for the historic arguments over whether he should be immune from prosecution for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election. But here's what's interesting. The three-judge panel appeared skeptical and painted a dire picture of the future if the president can't be charged with a crime. CBS's Scott McFarland was inside the courtroom. After arriving in a motorcade through the rain, Donald Trump sat in the front row as his attorney argued the 2020 election conspiracy criminal case against the former president must be dismissed. To authorize the prosecution of a president for his official acts would open a Pandora's box from which this nation may never recover. A trial judge rejected his claim of presidential immunity last year, saying a former president doesn't enjoy a get out of jail free card which the prosecutor echoed today. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. The appeals court appeared skeptical too, with one judge calling it paradoxical for a president to swear an oath to uphold the law, yet be allowed to violate the law. Judge Florence Pan posed a pointed hypothetical to Trump's attorney. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. The judges also pressed Trump's attorney when he acknowledged the former president could be charged if he had been convicted by the Senate at his 2021 impeachment. If Donald Trump could have been impeached and convicted and therefore could be prosecuted, then how can they argue immunity at the same time? It's a contradiction. Though he claimed he was forced from the campaign trail by the case, Trump appeared in court voluntarily and addressed cameras at his former D.C. hotel after. I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. And Scott McFarlane is back with us. So, Scott, you were there inside the courtroom. What do we know about a timeline? No timetable from the three judges, two of whom were appointed by President Biden. The losing side, though, is almost certain to appeal. And the special counsel has already tried and failed to get the Supreme Court to fast track this case, which means, Nora, Trump's scheduled March 4th trial date is very much in jeopardy. All right, Scott McFarland, thank you so much.